we can deal with the subject experimental techniques in the second module thin film techniques we have already discussed about the introduction and the fabrication of thin films in the topic fabrication of thin films we have to discuss mainly with the thermal evaporation in vacuum under that topic we have to deal with three type techniques that is resistive heating electron beam evaporation laser evaporation techniques these are the topics which i am going to deal today the fabrication of thin films using resistive heating the refractory metals with high melting point like tungsten tantalum molybdenum niobium with or without ceramic coating are used for making source containers the source containers are made of wires or foils of refractory materials some simplest shapes of source containers for resistive heating are shown in the figure below the crucibles of quartz graphite alumina zirconia and beryllia are used with indirect heating the choice of source container depends on the chemical reaction of the evaporant to overcome the difficulties with the reactive evaporants new materials are developed all the evaporant containers have their own merits and demerits the selection of the source is decided by the needs of the user that is there are mainly five types we can discuss these five types separately that is the figure a and b represent the basket and spiral sources respectively these are commonly made up of the thin tungsten or molybdenum wires the actual source materials or evaporants are directly placed in the form of wires or rods when the evaporant melts it wets the filament and it is held by the surface tension the multi strand filaments offers greater surface area than single wire elements hence they are used generally the figure c that is the multi vapor beam source it consists of a quartz tube with several holes 1 mm in diameter and heated by a tungsten spiral and the figure d which is dimbled board fabricated from thin sheets of tungsten tantalum or molybdenum it is used when only small quantities of evaporants are available the fifth type that is asymmetrical oven type point source the multi beam sources give a uniform deposit due to the superposition of the different beams then we have shown five type of point sources all the evaporant containers have their own merits and demerits the selection of source is decided by the needs of the user these are the disadvantages of the method of resistive heating the resistive heating technique has a number of disadvantages as below the possibility of the chemical reaction between the source or evaporant with the container it is difficult to attain high temperatures of the evaporation of dielectric materials like aluminum dioxide ta2o5 uh, uh, tio2 barium titanic oxide etc the rate of evaporation is too low there is a chance of the dissociation of evaporants and mixture or alloy formation with the container material the unity uniformity of evaporation is so poor these are all about the disadvantages of using technique resistive heating then the next method of fabrication of thin films using thermal evaporation method that is electron beam evaporation the electron beam evaporation technology is expensive and is a versatile this method can be used for the materials that can be easily and perfectly evaporated from resistive heating the advantages of this method are cleanliness and the purity of thin films produced the vaporization of materials can be established by the fast moving electron bombardment a beam of electrons from a heated tungsten filament is accelerated through the fields of few kilovolt 
and finally focus onto the surface of evaporant material. When this accelerated electron beam strikes the evaporant surface, the electrons impart their energy to the atoms of the evaporant materials and the materials get evaporated. To avoid the unnecessary heating of the container, the fine focusing of the electron beam is needed. During the focused heating, the crucible or the container of the evaporant will not get heated. The focused beam with the sufficient energy will evaporate the coating material only. So, the energy losses by the preheating of crucible is too small. Because of direct evaporation of the evaporant, the purity of films are guaranteed. In the electron beam technique, the source of electron beams are called electron guns. The guns are classified into two categories. That is thermionic sources and plasma electron source. First one is thermionic source. In this system, the electrons are generated thermionically from refractory metal filaments at high temperatures. And the second one, plasma electron source. In this category, the electron beams are extracted from a confined plasma environment. In the electron beam technique, the source of electron beams are called electron guns. These guns are already classified as 2. The simplest and fastest method to produce electrons for gun method is based on a hot cathode in the form of a narrow wire loop very near to evaporant. Example for such a method is pendant drop method. We have to discuss another useful methods for electron beam evaporation are self accelerated electron guns and bend beam technique. The first one is pendant drop configuration. That is shown in the figure. Introduced by a famous worker, Holland, he also received a patent from the British government for this method introduction. The material to be evaporated in the form of a rod or wire is placed at the center of a cathode loop that is shown in the figure. When a sufficiently large voltage is applied to the electrodes, the tip of the rod or wire gets melted and the evaporation takes place. The vapors condense on the substrate which is located below the source. The proper control of electric supply is required to avoid the high temperatures and the disadvantage of this method is power focusing. This is all about the pendant drop configuration. The next one is self accelerated electron guns. It is a good method of electron beam evaporation which is used to fabricate the thin films. The electron beam is finely focused by a negatively biased filament having a conical anode and a magnetic lens. The focal points of a few millimeters in diameter are used to evaporate the evaporants. The parameters to control the electron beam can be changed to improve the quality of the film. This method is useful for fabricating the thin films of refractory materials like niobium. These are all about the self-accelerated electron guns, the magnetic lens, the evaporant and the supports and the hot cathode and the filament etc. are shown in the figure. The next and last method for electron beam evaporation is bend beam technique. The figure is shown below. The electron beam is bent through a transverse magnetic field. High tension voltage of about 9 kilovolt and the currents up to 200 milliampere is used. By varying this high tension voltage and the focusing current, the beam can be finely focused onto the supports between the magnetic pole pieces. Water cooled crucible can be used for supporting the evaporating materials. This type of crucibles are suitable for evaporating the refractory materials. These are all about the electron beam evaporation methods. Next method is laser evaporation technique. In laser evaporation technique, the evaporating energy source, the laser and its associated parts are kept outside the vacuum chamber. 
the laser is focused through the windows of vacuum chamber and the materials vaporized by the laser are coated onto the substrate kept over the evaporating material as in the figure the laser evaporation setup is shown in the figure in this method the evaporating energy source laser and its associated parts are kept outside the vacuum chamber but the discussed methods before that is the electron beam evaporation and in resistive heating the source and the associated parts are kept inside the vacuum chamber the advantages of laser evaporation techniques the lasers are clean electromagnetic radiation so there should be no contamination from the source the next one is the lasers can be focused precisely thus the contamination due to the container material gets reduced using the laser the materials with high evaporating temperature can be evaporated easily due to the high power density achieved through the focusing of laser beams the laser and the associated parts of equipment could be placed far away since the laser beam divergence is small the multiple sources can be evaporated simultaneously by directing the laser source using the external mirrors the evaporation is in the form of a fine powder the substrates are kept at a distance of 20 to 50 mm above the crucibles the optically satisfactory films of zinc tellurium moo germanium etc are fabricated using this technique the depth of penetration of laser beam is so small so the evaporation takes place only at the surface of material that is all about the laser evaporation techniques thank you so we have completed the thin film fabrication using thermal evaporation techniques next day we can deal with the sputtered position thank you write down your notes and study well